Welcome to this quick presentation of Color Palette. You just have to click on the tools Pygmy Monkey Color Palette to display the Color Palette window. Here you'll see a list of all your color palettes directly inside Unity. When you start Color Palette for the first time, you have some default palettes. If you want to create a palette, simply click on the plus button and edit it with the Show Details button. You can of course remove synth and reorganize your colors. Once you're done editing, you can click Hide Details. You can then reorganize your palettes with the up and down arrows or just remove a palette. Once you have all your palettes, you can just pick the color you want for your game object. You can even create random palettes in the Create Palette section. You just have to select the algorithm you want and click on the button. Of course, more algorithms will be added in future updates. The best way to create new palettes is to use powerful tools already existing out there. You can, for example, Find the palette you like on colorlovers.com. Download it in SVG format and import it directly in Unity. We will add support for other palette websites and tools in the near future, such as Adobe Cooler. Another powerful feature of Color Palette is letting you set a color on a game object directly from a palette, as you can see in the demo scene. You just need to attach the color palette object script to the game object you want. Here, while telling the game object to use the current color palette. And playing with the slider, we can choose a color that is inside the palette. Now that each game object as this script, and the color you want is selected for each object. We can change the current palette in one click and see the palette change in an instant. This is really powerful to try different colors and see what's best for your design. 